Hey guys, Sir Kevin Miss Online here, and we are three hours away from home in San Antonio. I'm gonna do some toy hunting at several different shops. We're gonna look for some retail toy stores, hit up some Walgreens, Targets, Toys R Us, but uh, I will film whenever we get to the first store. I'm gonna go ahead and get down at Texas Thrift. Uh, I'm not really expecting to find anything, but if we do, I'll film it. Had seen better days. <laughs> bit of a walk to get to the front entrance <laughs> and a lot of people congregating out front as you can tell all right see you inside it's <laughs> happening huh Head into hall three. Hi, All right, guys, got our badge. So let's go see what we can see. Bautista's here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. <laughs> Oh, we 
Oh yeah, there's your, there's your purse. Right now is huh? Did you release it? Uh, yeah. Sure. They released something. They even released the other head, uh, the handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a stormtrooper coming out. What's happening, huh? Hmm. Captain? Doc Ock and Spidey? Yeah, some really cool cosplay outfits here. 
Round two. We just got a water break and a restroom break. Round two. Death Star is all beer bottle caps. Attention, I want to say something. Terry Gilman will be here for another half hour. He says in the back, and we will be from Terry Gilman. Currently going on also is the Frank Miller Slam in the front. He says in the front of Marty's Bull. A lot of Assorted vintage Ninja Turtles and modern mixed. Thank you. 
sure it's mostly all been picked through. Hey guys, Sir Kevin Miss here, and uh, I'm back from our little weekend trip. It was actually to celebrate my wife's birthday, birthday and uh, it was a spur of the moment thing. We got to go to Alamo City Comic Con, which was uh, just incredible. As you can see from the footage, there was lots of celebrities. We got to see Pauly Shore. We got to see Drax the Destroyer from a distance because <laughs> I wasn't going to spend the money, and uh, so many other great celebrities. And uh, Along with seeing all these celebrities and all these amazing cosplay outfits, I picked up a few toys, yeah. <laughs> At the Comic-Con, I actually just got loose, vintage, older toys because that I guess that's what pulls on my heartstrings. <laughs> and uh, from there, I picked up some things from a Ross and I picked up some things from a flea market, which I'm going to show it all to you here on the recap. So to start with, uh, I found this little vendor that was a little shop selling some old stuff and I just couldn't pass this up. This right here is the He-Man Strider. It's a big guy. <laughs> this is Strider, as you can tell. And he is uh, it's an early to mid 80s. I actually looked it up. Uh, it's Skeletor's ride and it was, I think it was like 83 or 84, but it's like incredible. It's missing a couple of weapons, which I'm gonna try to get online. It's missing a couple little uh, piece accessories here something was snapped here and it's got a couple of guns uh, I actually have not yet put in batteries to see if it still works I don't see any corrosion so it may work but anyway that's the first thing item I bought I got that for 10 15 bucks and I just it looks cool right you can't beat Spidor so that's Spidor <clears throat> also I've got first wave Krang which is incredible look he's got um, I he may be missing an accessory or two I'm not exactly certain but he's in great shape stands real well so his posability is gonna be awesome I got Krang and if you have Krang of course you gotta have Splinter <laughs> first wave Splinter also uh, I'm thinking maybe 84 if I 84 maybe I didn't actually check him out I believe I remember having this as a kid, so I'm thinking he was 84. Okay, so I got these three items, and from the same vendor, I got an amazing toy. This is late 80s, early 90s. These were the extreme dinosaurs, they were called, and they were also running with the same line as the street sharks. Same build, they were half animal and half human, muscular looking dudes. Uh, I forgot his name I actually looked it up and like triceratops something but I I've already gotten one of these I'll show it to you in another video from eBay and he was also an extreme dinosaur I'm gonna give shout out to pixel Dan I actually saw pixel Dan cop one of these from a hall where he was like going through some old novelty shops and I remembered him I was like oh yeah and I just I had to have them. so now I want to collect all of them so <laughs> thanks a lot pixel Dan <laughs> so we got the extreme dinosaur okay so after that I ended up going to um, entertainment it's called main event it's a big old arcade room and and slash bar slash restaurant my wife really wanted to go there so we blew a hundred bucks and I got a ten dollar pop yes <laughs> you can see 1325 tickets to win this beautiful Wonder Woman pop but because she's worth a hundred dollars i thought i'd go ahead and show her <laughs> really cool got all the justice league there just about gorgeous pop the box is great so let's go ahead and put her over here now after that we ended up going to uh a flea market on the way home and this flea market there was a lot of really cool things i wasn't really looking to spend a whole lot of money on the flea market but uh, I got this big old Incredible Hulk. As you can see, I don't want to readjust, but he's incredible. He's, he has an action, actually. I thought, man, 
for posing him, he's got the movie face, as you can tell. But he's incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back here. Also, I got another vintage He-Man. This one is actually Strider. He's another vehicle. You've probably all seen him before. He's uh, that kind of mechanical robot horse. This one actually has all of his accessories. The only thing I'm lacking is probably the, as you can see, the stickers are worn off, but I'm gonna get those stickers online so I can freshen them up. But he is not broken. He's got all the weapons. There's his gun turret there. He's got some laser guns in the front. He's got his armor. So like, I'm super stoked about this guy. So let's go ahead and put him in the back because he's big. Okay, let's see. So we got Strider. Okay, also sticking with the He-Man Vintage, I've got Beast Man. <laughs> I think he's 82. Uh, legs are not the greatest, but he's missing some. I think he comes with like a hammer or like some kind of club. He's got his little chest armor, which I was happy to see that. Picked him up for a few bucks, so couldn't beat that. So I got Beast Man there. Very happy to get Beast Man. Looks good in the looks good in Spider. And also got many faces. I got him for four dollars. Also, they're both just a few dollars. So many faces. Let's see. I didn't even get his. Oh yeah. As you can see, head still works. Awesome. He's actually a little more sturdy as far as his legs, so I think he'll he'll pose well. Oops, sorry there, Krang. Let's get Krang back up. All right, so all right, Krang just wants to be a thinks he's a brain of everything. Okay. <laughs> also, this is not anything vintage, but. I picked up this Red Skull Avengers Assemble line. Uh, I just like the outfit and the hat. I, I've seen this hat before in collections and I thought, you know, he would look really cool. He's three and three quarter, but very happy to get him. I picked him up for, for $5. I went in and got him because I like the hat actually. Let's put him back there. Okay, also from this flea market I picked up this little collection here they don't have any kind of uh, articulation they're just kind of I guess like PVC but uh I'm, I'm a big fan of these guys it was just missing the one so he gave me all of them for like he said they were supposed to be two but I got them for ten which I saved a couple bucks on that deal which they're all really cool they're already pre posed and they got their little base so you know they'll stand well um, whenever I get around to doing a collection, I actually have some of these PVC style 80s. These aren't 80s, but I have a lot of the 80s, California Raisins and Muppets. You'll see, these will go right in with my collection. Okay, now last but not least, that was all for the flea market. But on the way out, I saw Ross and I'm always excited to get discount Marvel Legends at Ross. That didn't happen this time, but for $2, I picked up this micro masher which anytime I can get anything that's like Marvel like this little Hulk he's small he's probably two and a half three inches at the most I think he's really cool looking posability he's got a great facial expression muscular looking as you can see here's all the really cool line I mean come on Star Lord Panther Ghost Rider Hulk Buster Green Goblin that's a great line and this is not something I thought I would I, I set out to get, but seeing him for two bucks, two ninety nine, I said, "Yep, yep, he's going with me." So anyway, that concludes my trip. We had a blast, you know, the wife and I. We really had a lot of fun. And anytime I can pick up a couple of vintage, so here you can see everything, just amazing. Oh, the only thing I, another thing I didn't get to see show, is several Image and Marvel comic books. They were given out free, so I got a handful of those. Maybe I'll cover those another time. But as you can see, I have a great vintage haul and a couple of modern pieces, another pop to add to the collection. Guys, this is Sir Kevin Miss Online. I'm signing out. Y'all take care.